Strange insects clinging to iris leaves in our pond. Are they mating, I pondered. Nope, they're dragonfly larvae, known as nymphs, that have climbed out of the water after maybe a couple of years at the bottom of our pond, ready to emerge as adult dragonflies. So, I grabbed a camera and later that day spotted a dragonfly which had already completed their metamorphosis process and was ready to fly. Sadly, I wasn't ready and missed it as it flew off before I could capture its departure on film. When wings begin to vibrate, that's a sign for imminent takeoff, so get ready. Dragonflies have been around for 300 million years, and that's a tad longer than me. And after some research online, I now understood the life cycle process. Later, I spotted another, and this time armed with a Nikon D500 plus a 105 macro lens, giving me a 160 mm effective focal length from a crop sensor, plus the magnification provided by shooting in 4K, I was ready to at least film its departure. However, I still hadn't caught the emergence process from a nymph. Luckily, the following day, I spotted a nymph actually ascending another iris leaf and ran at the speed of light to grab camera gear. Conveniently, it was ideally positioned for me, so all I had to do was observe and shoot. Our upper pond is shaded beneath trees, making the light soft without any harsh sunlight. This amazing process reminds me of the Alien movies, no doubt inspired by the insect world. Those white strands, incidentally, are its breathing tubes whilst underwater. They will shortly detach as it breathes in the warm summer air for the first time. Witnessing the dragonfly's emergence was a great experience, particularly to capture it on movie and stills. I've counted now 16 empty nymph pods on the leaves, and I think maybe that's the last of them for this year. And had we not been away the previous week, well, I, I would have captured many more emerging. We've never seen them before on, in our pond at all, so uh, this is the first time in nearly 20 years. Still, I'll be ready next year, just in case.